Welcome into Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior, and coming up, the 76ers got some encouraging first impressions from multiple players in their first preseason game. We're going to talk some 76ers hoops coming up here just around the corner, but before we begin, it was awesome to see the Sixers back in action at the Wells Fargo Center playing an actual basketball game, and if you're ready... For real 76ers basketball, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. Obviously, the 76ers playing an exhibition game against the New Zealand Breakers of the NBL, a really competitive basketball league in Australia. So when these players show out like they did, it came against a team down under in the New Zealand Breakers and not another NBA team. But still, plenty of takeaways here. And let's begin with rookie council showed out against New Zealand. He was aggressive, he looked comfortable with his shot, and that built off of what was a very impressive summer league for him. Against the Breakers, or as my Aussie cousins who I spent time with over the weekend for my sister's wedding would say, the Breakers, I think I did a good job with that. Shout out Mark and Harrison for watching the show. Amy, Laws, the whole crew. 13 points for Ricky Council the fourth. Six rebounds against New Zealand, two steals. He was 5-of-5 five five from the field, and he knocked down his only three-point opportunity. And if Ricky keeps playing with this confidence that we saw against New Zealand and with the confidence that he exuded during the summer league, it's going to be hard to keep him off the floor. Sixers need that athleticism. They want that size. They want as that type of versatility, and Council can certainly give them that. As for Gershon Yabaselli, he was impressive, and he was playing some small ball five for the 76ers. Could that be an early indication and an early look at how Nick Nurse could utilize him at the small ball five instead of playing the four? He could also obviously fulfill both of those spots. He was very physical. He used his size to score down low. He plays hard, and he defends well, and like Ricky Council, he was efficient. 15 points against the Brikas, two assists, six of six from the field, and he was able to convert on his only three-point make. And what I did see from Yabaselli, of course, he's going up against front court players who lack the size and athleticism of front court players at the NBA level. So, of course, he was able to back them down with that power dribble and finish around the hoop. I want to see if he's able to do that at the NBA level, but it's notable that he was playing some small ball center playing some small ball center in the regular season. He can obviously stretch the floor and knock down some threes, serve as a versatile piece. And if he's able to do that, Chip, I think he has a place on this team. And that backup forward spot will, of course, be key because of the Sixers' lack of size. Yeah, and when you look at Ricky Council, Gershon Yabusele, and the Sixers lineup, starting lineup's intact. We already know what it's going to be. Maxi, Oubre, Paul George, Caleb Martin, and obviously Joel Embiid. But the bench coming into the season has question marks, especially at back up forward. Right at guards, you got the veterans, you got McCain. But at forward, you know, a lot of unproven. Does KJ Martin get a lot of those minutes? Ricky Council, Garshan Yabusele. It's a lot of guys that are really unproven up to this point in their NBA career. So it's encouraging early on yep. to see Ricky Council play. Like, he can get real minutes once the season starts. To see Garshan Yabusele. And again, it's one game, of course. But to at least see some signs from these guys that... They're able to play together and able to give you real minutes on this team. That's going to be very, very important, especially during the regular season when this team's trying to win games if Embiid's out. But also, you know, maybe one of these guys, if not both of them, can play well enough throughout the year to earn a spot in the playoff rotation, especially someone like Ricky Council, I think, has a very, very high ceiling if he can be that real glue guy who can do a little bit with the ball in his hands, but can play good, hard defense, can attack the rim. I loved him just putting his head down and getting to the basket and not just settling for threes, even though he has been working on that. And, of course, Yabusele with Andre Drummond and Adam Bona being the only real backup centers, Bayern and Bede. If you don't trust Adam Bona, now you've got Gershon Yabusele to play five, and then you can run a lot of, a lot of different lines with that as well. So it's very important, very pivotal that these guys are looking good right now at that spot. And it gives me some confidence at the end of the season. Yeah, we want you to chime in as well because there were so many takeaways, obviously, that we're talking about on today's show. But 
some of your biggest takeaways. Relay them to us down in the comment section and let us know your biggest takeaway from that first preseason game here on 76ers Now and at Chat Sports. We always love people to join that conversation. It's sports. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Prize Picks being our sponsor today. We really appreciate them for making today's Philadelphia 76ers now possible. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action with over 10 million active members and billions of dollars in awarded winnings. Prize Picks has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. You just pick more or less on at least two players for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Run your game all season long on Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in over 30 states. It's the only real money daily fantasy platform with an injury insurance policy, so your lineups stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. If your player leaves in the first half and doesn't return, Prize Picks keeps your lineup live. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money with over 10 million people playing. It is the best daily fantasy sports app in North America and the only one that you should be using. Our selections for our prize picks with the basketball season upcoming, Tyrese Maxey, more than 2.83 point field goals made per game on average. Joel Embiid, more than 32.1 points per game on average. And then Victor Wembenyama, more than 24.7 points per game average. Very confident in that one. So pick more Pick less, pick prize picks, run your game, get $50 instantly when you play $5. We'll put that information down below in the comment section and in the description of today's 76ers. Now, great signs early. Tyrese Maxey playing the entire first quarter. He was phenomenal. He looks ready for another leap. That's why Chip and I really like that three-pointers made, but also his points per game on average this year. I think that he can average 26-plus points per game against the Breakers in 12 minutes of play. He played that first quarter. That was it. He dropped 15 points. He dished out three dimes. He was 5 of 7 from the deck, 4 of 5 from 3, the consistent theme for Philadelphia. They were pretty efficient from beyond the arc. Maxi can be this team's leader when Joel Embiid is out, and we could be seeing an all-NBA type of year from him. He already looks to be one of the top point guards in the NBA. Who's to say he can't be an all-NBA player this year? Also, Jaron McCain bouncing back from what was a rocky summer league, and after a rough start, the rookie really settled in. He hit some threes. He contributed everywhere, played with good energy. What stood out to me, the quick release. He's really able to catch the ball at the three-point line and let it go very quickly. And if he can make those shots, he will see a role on this team this year. Against the Breakers in 27 minutes, he had 15 points, seven rebounds, three assists. He did a little bit of everything. He was 5 of 14 from the floor. The efficiency can be a little bit better, but 4 of 9 from three. Defensively, he still has a ways to go. He is a little bit smaller, but he does play hard. And again, if he can shoot well with that quick trigger, I think that McCain could play this year. Reggie Jackson, also very efficient, providing a spark for Philadelphia. He played one short stint in the third quarter. He went nuclear, including a step back three from that left wing. He too, chiming in with 15 points. He was five of seven from the field. Three of five from three in only nine minutes. That's a classic Reggie Jackson line right there where he sees a little bit of time and throws up a lot of shots. Now, every night, he's not going to have that level of efficiency, but he could go on some scorched earth heaters. This is what Philadelphia needs from Reggie Jackson. You come off the bench, you provide a spark. Not a starter in this league for a playoff team, but he's a spark plug coming off the bench as a reserve. Andre Drummond is also back for the Sixers. He's looking as good as ever, hitting the glass hard. He even made a corner three. We did see that Andre Drummond, during his offseason workouts, was at least taking some threes. We're not sure if that's going to be a Ben Simmons type of social media clip, which never translates to the actual games. But it was good to see Andre Drummond at least have the confidence to shoot the three, not just once, but twice. He made one of them, 50%. Let's ride. Let's take it. Five of seven from the floor. Three offensive rebounds. Seven in total. 11 points. I think his physicality and his rebounding ability is going to come up huge for this team 
against bigger teams like Boston and New York. You have to worry about, of course, the the Milwaukee Bucks as well with Giannis in that front court. His skill set, I think, will be huge for this team. He's been one of the best rebounders of this generation, and he's one of the top backup bigs in the NBA, and the Sixers finally have a legitimate big behind Joel Embiid. It's been a long time since we could say that. So our initial thoughts after finally seeing the Sixers team in action, Chip, a lot of good. Not ready to crown them NBA champions, but you like what you saw, certainly. Yeah, you like what you saw, of course, not playing an NBA team. So, you know, this happens every year. The, these teams play these other teams that are traveling from outside the United States, and they always look very, very good, of course. But I think the things you can take away, you know, when people are shooting well from outside, and do they look confident in terms of, you know, Ricky Council, Jared McCain is clearly not afraid to shoot the ball. So just seeing guys at least becoming more comfortable on the floor, I really love what I saw from Tyrese Maxey. I think, of course, against lower competition, but he looks like he could be a number one option on a, on a team right now based off, you know, the leadership that we've seen him start to take over on this team, the role he's starting to take over. I'm very, very optimistic that he can take another leap. And, just, you know, getting to see all these new guys on the floor together is a lot of fun. Getting to see Gusharn Yabuseli in a Sixers jersey for the first time. All these new guys. Caleb Martin is a guy who's going to play hard at all times. Even if he's not scoring the ball, he always is going to have an impact on this game. So it's just great to see everybody on the floor. I don't really expect Embiid or Paul George to play really at all this preseason. I think Paul George will get out there at least for one game. Embiid, I doubt we see him at all. So we won't see the full construction of this team until the season starts against the Milwaukee Bucks. But with five more preseason games to go, of course, got to still be looking a lot for the rookies, what they're going to do. And at Ricky Council, Gershon Yabuselli, KJ Martin, what these backups can bring. Because that's going to be important for the Sixers team, especially as the regular season begins. For sure. You take a look at the upcoming preseason schedule for the Sixers before we hop on out of here. Next in action against the Timberwolves on Friday. Boston Celtics on the road as well on Saturday. Monday on the road against the Atlanta Hawks. Back home Wednesday the 16th of October against the Brooklyn Nets. And then Friday on the road against the Orlando Magic. Be sure to follow this YouTube channel on Instagram. We're going to start putting out some more clips on our Instagram page, at 76ers now IG. Hit us with the follow there. Another news source for all of your Sixers content.